Hello friends, Ben Uchard here. Thanks for tuning in. I've decided to go ahead and start a, um, a medication of this tank uh, to help uh, to fully defeat the hole in the head that has appeared on the, uh, on the front of the geos and uh, to a much lighter degree on the front of the uh, AC Heculi. The Severums and the, uh, and the Buenos Aires Tetras seem completely clean but uh, those three older fish seem like they need, uh, uh, they need a little help. So I've, I've, I've done uh, like you know, 80, 90% water changes and, and I added a UV sterilizer, but I haven't really noticed any real change uh, whatsoever in, in the pits, in, in the heads of, of the fish. Maybe I'm not giving it enough time, but I've decided to go ahead and not let the disease take a more firm grip. And so what I'm doing is um, I'm following the, the recommendations uh, of, of Paracleanse. Now Paracleanse is essentially, if you look at the back of it, its active ingredients, the two most common things that we know, which is Metro and, and, and Praziquil. And, and so Prazi and Metro is the active ingredient in this. And that's what I would, what I would normally do to uh, uh, to, to treat, to treat uh, bacterial and you know things in the tank, I think it's it's, it's the primary ingredient in uh, in um, other types of common, you know, API general cure things like that. That's what you'll find. Uh, it is one packet for every 10 gallons, but the, the truth is is that uh, people measure their tanks from the outside uh, and not from the inside. So. If you measure this tank from the inside and do the, the, the gallon equation, you get a, a difference of 10 to 15 gallons. So uh, now add that to the displacement that occurs with uh, substrate, rocks, and decor. Uh, this is really uh, probably a 75, 75 to uh, 80 gallon tank uh, in total actual true water volume, even though you would sell it as a 90 gallon tank. Try it on your tanks, measure the inside of your tanks and, uh, and, and, and then do the, the gallon equation and, and see what you come up with. It can be surprising how different it is from what the tank was sold as. So it, it's one packet, uh, you know, one packet per 10 gallons and you, know, you hit it and then you wait a day and then you hit it again and then you wait a day and then you do a, a water change. If there's no difference, uh, you can go ahead and repeat the process if you want. Uh, yes, it gets expensive. That's a lot of packets, but I decided to go ahead and hit the whole tank. Now, <clears throat> another thing that I'm doing is that I'm using a little bit of a packet in, in uh, some water, a little bit of packet in some water, along with some uh, pellets. And I'm mixing in a little bit of focus. This is a Seachem focus, and uh, it helps to bind the food with the, uh, with, with the medication. I have found that the fish uh, are eating it. They're going right after it, eating it like crazy. So um, I'm getting some of it inside their body, which um, you know, parasites are probably part of this problem. Uh, th that's gonna attack the parasites more directly as opposed to just floating it into the water column. I'm also treating the tank with, uh, uh, when I do treatment, I'm treating it with the Fritz uh, Pro Aquatics ACCR, which is basically a water conditioner and um, neutralizes uh, ammonia and uh, chlorine, chloramine, really good product. Uh, Fritz Pro Aquatics uh, ACCR. It is uh, discussed on the back panel of the, of the Paracleanse product. So um, they talk about how uh, this might impact beneficial bacteria. So it's, uh, it's not a bad idea to, to hit the tank with something that can counteract uh, a spike in ammonia or nitrite, which of course would be very, very hard, if not fatal on the fish. So uh, that's the step I'm on. Uh, wish me luck. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give them a feeding now and you can see how they attack, how they attack the food uh, that has the, uh, the, the, a little bit, just a pinch, just a pinch of para paracleanse in there and uh, some focus and some pellets. And, uh, and, and, and then I still hit the tank with, with about eight packets uh, per treatment. Uh, just dump them right into the tank. Be sure to remove any activated carbon, um, you know, chemipure, purigen, 
uh, anything like that, and turn off your, uh, your UV, turn off, if, you have, if you're using UV, like I was, uh, be sure to um, um, turn it off during the treatment period. And then at the end of the treatment, you do a 25% water change. So uh, let's go ahead and feed them and uh, with a little bit of medication. Each day they're getting a little bit of a medicated feeding. And, uh, and then of course, every other day, the tank gets hit with the Paracleanse per the instructions on the box. All right, so, uh, so let, let's go ahead and give them a feeding and uh, you can see how, how voracious they are and how they go after the food. One of the problems I hear uh, from folks is, hey, look, they, uh, they don't eat medicated food. I'm not having that problem with these fish and, and they, are, they do have a real good appetite. I've turned the light up. One of the nice things about these, uh, about these aquarium co-op lights they're easy, they're easy plant light, is that uh, they've added percentage uh, incremental increases that you can do on the light, which I like a lot. I usually run it at about 40%, but this is pretty much at 100%. Now first I'll drop some regular food in there just to entice them over. That's untreated food. I've unplugged the, uh, this hang on back filter so it doesn't suck up the food as it comes in. Now this is the treated fruit food with the Paracleans and, uh, and Focus. Seems like a lot, but they're big eaters. Not sure if you can see the red uh, spotted gold serum in the corner here. He's definitely munching away. The red shoulder serum doesn't like the bright lights and is hanging back. As a matter of fact, most of them are hanging back a little bit, probably because of all the bright light that's on the tank. But they will go after this food, they will eat it all up, and they will sift in this back corner continuously and I'll come back in about an hour and, and there'll be no sign of food anywhere. So there you go. A big thank you to the Aquarium Co-op for uh, sending me over some of the Paracleanse. And uh, we'll keep an eye, we'll keep a close eye on these guys. See if those uh, pits on the forehead start to get smaller. Uh, fingers crossed. If not, I'm not sure what the next step would be. Possibly uh, uh, salt dips, things like that. But uh, I'm, I'm not really uh, uh, excited about doing that. But let's see. This should work, and, uh, and the ACCR from Pritch should offset any impact on the, uh, on, the, on the beneficial bacteria. Even though this is an extremely well-established tank, it's not like it has a small colony of beneficial bacteria. It has a deep substrate and, uh, and has been running for, for uh, about a year and a half, and so it is very well-established. So I'm not that concerned, but uh, I am keeping a close eye on things and doing some water testing. Okay, so there you go. Thank you for tuning in. Certainly share your thoughts and tips in the comments below. They're always appreciated. And as you can tell, I do listen and follow them on a pretty regular basis. I'll give you an update of how they're doing on the next uh, lap of the fish room. Thank you, my friends. See you again soon. Uh, hopefully on Saturday at the uh, Cichlids, Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, it's about an hour of discussion with uh, some great fish keepers. And if you want to support the channel further, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang, a Patreon monthly supporter. Uh, details are in the description, and I'll include a link to a video up above that tells you all about the Patreon program. Thank you, my friends. You're the best. See you again soon. Bye-bye.